I was I was brought up in a, in a village not about 12 miles away from Manchester and we were fairly lucky really because there was a, a Sharabang company actually in the village. They, they, they were, um, we used to call them Sharas, they were coaches, well what are termed coach, coaches these days and the gentleman that used to own the company was called Mr F Fitzpatrick and we always used to call them Patrick, Patrick's Sharas and we used to go on trips in them and the most likely place for us to go to from where we lived was Blackpool and it would be quite a long journey I mean I can't remember how long but it was two hours I should think at least and quite a long it, we always used to have the competition as to who saw the tower first because you could see it from quite a long way away. And then when we got there, we always just hoped it wasn't going to be a very windy day because it being on that north west coast it can get very windy up there. But there were, you know, sort of shelters along along the promenade that we used to have to go into if it was bad. And uh, one of the most enjoyable trips, probably, was um, when when we used to go when the illuminations were on. And that was quite exciting because, of course, we were very late when we got back from that because the lights didn't come up and come on until the evening. So probably those trips wouldn't we wouldn't leave until the middle of the midday, and then spend the afternoon perhaps walking along the promenade or even going onto the beach, and then. <coughs> the coach would drive up and down the promenade so we could see the illuminations. I don't, I haven't seen them for a very long time but I don't imagine they've changed dramatically since then. Um, I can't quite remember who we went with but it was probably with a group from either the Girl Guides or church that we used to go with. But I, I, my, mum, my mum and dad used to go as well, it wasn't just children, it was adults and children that went. And uh, we, we never went into a cafe to eat in those days. We always took a picnic with us.